Our Bible reading for today is Genesis chapter 40. Yesterday we learned that Joseph, a Hebrew, a foreigner in Egypt, had been falsely accused and was put in dungeon. Humanly speaking, he was in a hopeless situation. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Even in that terrible place, the Lord was with him because Joseph was a man of integrity. The keeper of the prison noticed that Joseph's attitudes and reactions were very different to those of the average prisoners. In Genesis 39 verse 22, So the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison. Joseph's relationship with God so shaped his attitudes and actions that the people around him could not help but notice. Listen to this. No matter in life where you are dumped, God can take anyone from where you are to where He wants you to be. One day, Joseph interpreted the dreams of the chief of the butlers and the chief of the bakers. Joseph made sure <clears throat> they understood that only God could give the interpretations. Joseph had given the cupbearer a favorable interpretation. The dreams were fulfilled as being interpreted by Joseph that Pharaoh restored the chief butler into his battleship again. And he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But miserably, he hung the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. Now watch how God arranged the life of Joseph. One day, the cupbearer was released. When he was released, Joseph asked him to please remember him. But alas, the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph. He forgot him at all. So Joseph had to pay to wait for two more years in prison. He was forgotten by the chief cupbearer, but not forsaken by God. Joseph had two more years to wait before he saw the outworking of the plan of God. God can always move us into the place of forgetfulness and position us for fruitfulness. Please read Genesis chapter 40 to get the better story.